I've decided to re record this as a record. Um, I may not actually post this, but I um, I'm remembering a time when um, I woke up one morning and I. I, I couldn't move. I had, um, it, it wasn't a physical thing, it was a mental thing. I couldn't, I couldn't push myself, I was, I was laying on my stomach and I couldn't push myself up to get off the bed. And, um, see, I can't even look at you. Um, And I, um, I had, <clears throat> I had in my head, um, thinking about doctors and other people talking about how I should push myself to go beyond the issues that I, I've, I've had with mental health and push myself to get myself out of bed, to go out, to do whatever. And so I, I lay there thinking to myself, I need to push myself, I need to push myself and get myself out of bed and face the day. So I did. I pushed myself and I pushed myself and I pushed myself up eventually into like all fours position. And I got myself into the all fours position and I just burst into tears. I just absolutely was bawling because I, I thought, because I've managed to get myself up from the bed, that I, I have to face the rest of the day. I can't just lay in bed because I've pushed myself up. And that scared me so much. That was the time that I was at my lowest ebb and it's difficult to face it, but I want to face it. I want to face that that was a difficult time. I want to face where I was at that time. And I want to know that although it, it is upsetting, remembering that time that I'm in a better place now and I can deal with it and that I can, I'm sorry, I haven't been looking at you because <sighs> this is a shame. There's a shame attached to mental health, and there shouldn't be.
And I'm not, I'm not ashamed anymore. I'm not. <laughs> it doesn't look like I am. But I'm not. It's just the reason I'm crying is because that time was was awful. And remembering that time is awful. I'm not ashamed anymore. Um, it is what it is. I have, I have dealt with mental health issues for many years. And I may deal with them again. And uh, yeah, I'm still dealing with them. No, I'm. But I've got. I'm coping. Um. But there may come a time when I'm not. And I'm not going to be ashamed of that anymore. Uh, I'm just. I've come so far from then to now. Uh, I'm drinking alcohol and that doesn't help. So, um, So, yeah, that was then, this is now. I may be at those times again in the future, but I'm hoping not, fingers crossed. Um, and I can face that. That's why I'm doing this video is because I want to I want to, I want to express it to myself. And if I do post this, I want to express it to other people. I'm going to, I'm, go, I'm going to review it before I post it to see if I want to. Um, but I think it might give an insight to people of what it's like to have to deal with mental health. Um, and that it's not just, oh, I can't be bothered, which, which seems to be some people's attitude to mental health. Uh, uh, you can't be bothered, so I'm going to work because you can't be bothered. And, um, but it's not that. It, it's not just mental, it's physical. As I say, although mentally I was being blocked from being able to get out of bed, it was physical. I physically couldn't move. The effort, the physical effort to push myself up off that bed was immense it was it was like i was being held down by a massive force and you know so it was physical but i know i know that it wasn't that I didn't have the ability to push myself up off the bed, but that my mind was stopping me from pushing me up off the bed. And so although it wasn't entirely physical, that it, in a sense it was, I don't know whether I'm making sense, But if I post this, 
maybe people will get a bit more of an understanding of what people with mental health issues go through. Um, and that it's not just, can't be bothered, you know. It's, it's not that, you know. And I'm not there now. At this time, I've th this, I had a wonderful um, uh, experience with. Um, oh, sorry, my brain's a bit thing at the moment, mainly because I'm, I'm drunk and also I'm being emotional. Uh, the. Uh, Recovery College, thank you. It's called Recovery College. It's at uh, the Mapley Hospital. And what they do is they do courses on mental health for people with mental health issues. And these courses are kind of studious in a way. Um, in that they they teach you about mental health. Um, what are the causes of mental health? What are the um, wh how mental he health presents itself, um, and 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 why? You know, um, trauma can cause mental health issues. Uh, chemical imbalances in the brain cause mental health issues. There are, there are a variety of things. Um, and, you know, there are varying types of mental health. You know, you've got your severe mental health, of psychosis, schizophrenia, that sort of thing, um, to anxiety and depression, which can be just as debilitating. But are considered kind of yeah, it's all wishy washy. Oh, you're a bit anxious. Um but it's it's more than just being anxious. And they teach you about that, but they also teach um about how to deal with those periods where you are suffering with your mental health and you know, whether it's breathing exercises or um talking to yourself in a sense and sort of telling yourself you're being stupid but not that you are stupid that at that moment you're being stupid you, you you're taking it too far you know think about it teaching you to stop worrying about stuff you know consider the thing grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Um, that sort of thing, you know. Um, relaxation, exercises, things like that, to put you, hopefully, into a better frame of mind. Excuse me. Ah, just bit nothing. Um, and that has really helped me. And I'm in a far better place. I'm not in that place. I may go back there. Um, right. Um... It's been nearly 15 minutes, so um, I'm just going to say, if, if you're where I was, you're not alone. Seek help. If you've never been there, just understand... There's no blame. It's not my fault that my head works in the way that I do. 
and just try to understand that people with mental health issues aren't nuts. They just essentially can't cope with life a lot of the time. So, hoping you're good um, and there is help out there. You you need to put a bit of effort into it. I did. And it's helped immensely. So, sign off now. I've got through it. Thank you.